what's up folks you're here with the fly guy it's a warm friday the 13th here in april in ohio and i am going fishing i just got off work i am super pumped this is going to be my first warm water trip of the year i'm going to hike into a small slightly unknown lake uh, with my float tube and i'm going to see about getting into some bass and panfish uh, like i said super stoked it's beautiful out uh, so come along with me today and let's see what we can get into all right folks we're floating in i'm in a flooded creek right now and i am floating into the entrance of this small lake it's going to be a little bit of work to get back to the shore but i think i can do it boy it's a nice day out A lot of work to get in here, but I think it's going to be worth it. Only thing about floating down a, down a creek with a float tube is you might have trouble steering. And that's what I'm running into now. Getting taken for a ride. I gotta get back across the stream here. There it is. Whew. Okay folks, so what I'm doing today is I'm drop shotting on the fly rod. This is pretty easy to do. Uh, what I will say about it is that I'm using very simple tackle. This is an offset octopus hook that I tied this fly on. It's, it's really simple. It's just got some rubber legs and uh, some crystal chenille on it and below that fly i've just got a three uh a number three aught split shot uh, by water gremlin now i don't have a very long tag as you can see the reason i don't want a long tag is because i am actually fishing in shallow water and when i'm throwing that up into possibly six to ten inches of water i want that fly to just sit above bottom and I'm trying to get the attention of any bass that have come up shallow because of the heat wave that we've had. And they're going to be sitting close to the shore. And that's the reason I'm in the belly boat, is to really use stealth and to get up on these fish. I'm not making long casts, anywhere from 15 to 20 feet. And if you're used to throwing uh, a clouser minnow, you know, this is similar to the weight uh, of a fly that has dumbbell eyes. So this is not like you're casting a huge weighted fly and you're just flopping it around. You're actually going to be able to cast this with precision and it's going to get into the cover and right at the fish that you want to see. Let's go see if we can get another one.
That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. All right, folks. There's a nice there's a nice bass. And it's real easy to do. All we're doing today is we are drop shotting on the fly rod. And it's not a technique that is just solely for, uh, you know, hard tackle fishermen. This can be used on the fly rod and I'm doing it today. These fish are getting ready for the spawn. What a, what a nice fish that is. Let's go get another one. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, swimming right towards me. Swimming right towards me. Oh, wow. Nice fish. Oh. Nice fish. Not a monster, but he's fun. Who would have thought? Drop shot and on the fly rod. All right, folks, I got a little rock pile here before I really run out of light. I'm gonna hit that real quick. See if I can't get another fish. And then I'm gonna head home. See movement, I don't know if it's a carp. I don't know if this is gonna be a carp or a bass, but I see movement up in these leaves. I hope you guys can see this. It is getting dark. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh. Hey, he's not big, but that's a fish to finish the night. I'm happy. Folks, if you have not tried drop shotting on the fly rod for bass, you got to give this a try. It's such a, an awesome technique. All right, folks, there's a look at it. I only got to hit one side of the lake today, but you know what? I'm, I'm happy with the results. If you liked what you saw today, Go ahead and subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And thanks again for watching, and I will catch you next time.